Hey guys, I wanted to get a quick one out before Valentine's Day. So this one's going to be a Valentine's inspired jelly fly. And I'm on a fairly dark stone. So if you're on a dark stone, make sure you use some white as a base coat so that we can make this as colorful as possible, even though it's on a very dark background. And this background is going to darken even more. It's going to look almost black. Uh, once I seal it with resin. So keep that in mind as well. I don't switch up the rocks at the end. It's the same rock, just covered in shiny old resin. <laughs> so guys, you guys can see quickly what I'm doing. I did three hearts, one at the top, one bigger one in the center, and then a smaller one at the bottom. And then just a bunch of circular type pieces there. Uh, and I do it with a paintbrush first, and then I'm using a little sponge to sponge it out, get rid of my brush strokes. Um, and then I probably have to do a couple of coats of white uh, and let it dry before I can even try to put any color on this. Um, so it's kind of going a little bit fast, but you guys get, get what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to get a white dragonfly on here first, and then we'll fill it with color. Then, we're gonna make them look super shiny and glossy, almost like glass or jelly. Um, and we're gonna do that just by using a little bit of white. So pick the only colors that you like, um, or what you're, if maybe you're doing a custom order for a friend, maybe you're making a gift for somebody. So choose their favorite colors. I'm just going to do random colors. So far I've got teal in the bottom heart. Then I've got like a dark purple, orange, yellow. And what I'm doing again is I'm painting it on with a paintbrush and then I'm using my blending brush, which is like a little baby sponge. And I'm using that to kind of sponge it out. So it gets rid of all the the brush strokes again. It's a lot easier to blend and make them look shiny at the end if you have uh, a blending brush. So I do have a tutorial for a blending brush and that is located in the description of this video or you can search in uh, your YouTube for Rachel's Rocks blending brush and it will bring you right to that one. And you can see how I've made myself a blending brush that's used as a teeny weeny little baby sponge to get in all those little places that I need to blend today. So I've got some nice dark blue, purple, green, um, some magenta. You can use whatever colors you want. Uh, I am going to put some teal on the wings and then I'm going to add some watercolor. So for those of you who are sick of seeing watercolor tutorials, um, this is mostly acrylic. <laughs> okay, is that fair? <laughs> um, but I'm going to add some sparkly watercolor to the wings, if that's okay. So I'm doing the same thing. I made a nice big heart. Uh, this one is in berry wine, so it's like a really deep, deep, deep red. Then I'm going to use pink for the top heart. You can do as whatever colors you choose to do. Um, I made one of these a long time ago and it came up in my memories on Facebook and I was like, Hey, that's got hearts in it. I should share it with my friends on YouTube. So these are a lot of fun and they're super quick. Like this isn't a very long tutorial. So, uh, it's super quick, super easy. You might have to do more than one coat of white. You might have to do more than one coat of each color. Just let it dry and then sponge on a second coat and, uh, and make sure that everything is the way you want it to be before we start adding, I'll call it the shine. We're going to call it shine today. We're going to add some shine. So you can see I haven't used teal in the rest of the body, but I'm using teal in the wings. I really like the color teal. So that's what I wanted to do today. <laughs> Now I will be outlining all these little bits and pieces of this heart jelly fly. Um, I will be outlining it in black as well as gold. Of course, you guys know what I like <laughs> and we're going to love it. It's going to look so beautiful when, when it's done. 
So I'm making sure to have uh, full coverage of this teal on the wings. You don't want to see through that at all. You don't want to see any little bits of white coming through there. So make sure that once you paint it on, you use a sponge to give it a nice even coat. And while that's drying, I'm actually going to make all of these little bits and pieces shine. So I'm going to start off with just one side. So my rock is slanted down a little bit at the front. So I've chosen to do this side of this jelly fly um, and make it white on the bottoms of these to kind of give it like that shiny glass look or jelly look. Um, so on each part, I add a little bit of white to the bottom and then I go back to the berry wine color or the pink color, whichever part you're in, whichever color you're working with. And you just kind of go back and forth, blending that in so that it's not just a sharp line of white. You want it blended into the red or blended into the pink. And now I'm going to blend it into the blue. So you will have to go back and forth and get a little bit more of that blue color and go over top of the white and bring some more white back in and just kind of make it lighter on the one side and make sure you do it all down the same side on each part. So it's kind of like the light is reflecting through the jelly and it almost resembles like little glass beads, like a little glass uh, dragonfly or, or a jelly dragonfly <laughs> made of jellies uh, or gummies. So um, I'm making that little white area at the bottom of each one of these little parts and I keep going over it until I'm happy with the way it looks and it's going to look even more shiny and more like gummy, a gummy worm or a, a gummy bear. It's going to look more like that soon because we're going to add that shine on top Um and that changes the whole thing as well as it kind of looks fuzzy right now. doesn't have any clean lines because we've done so much sponging and, and blending and all that. So it's kind of messy, um, but we're going to sharpen it up and clean it up with the gold and the black. I'm going to use gold first, outline everything. And then once that's dry, I can use the black and make sure every little piece is separated and make sure when you do outline it with the black that you don't overlap all your gold. You still want to see that that gold when you're done. So this part's kind of tedious, the whole outlining part. Obviously, I'm, I'm quick at it now because I've been doing this for a few years. Lots and lots of practice. Um, I told my son the other day, the second you do something more than one time, you're going to get better. So no matter how many times you pick up that paintbrush, you are improving your skills. So keep that in mind. It does take practice to get good. I should have a shirt that says that. <laughs> it takes practice to get good. So you can see I've added little shines with some white. Just simple. Just run it along and have little bloops of white up at the top. And I've, I've still got to do the pink heart. Um at the front of the the uh, jelly fly but um you'll see that after I do I do complete it don't worry guys I haven't forgotten the pink heart in case you're wondering <laughs> um I needed to let the pink heart dry because it's such a light pink I could still see through it and I needed to do another coat um of the pink on there but there will be a nice glossy little white bloop on there shortly so I've outlined everything in gold. Everything's now being outlined in black. Um, and then once all of that is dry, it's really starting to look clean and, and jelly-like, I think. I don't know. You guys can let me know. I'm just going to do green legs, little green nubby legs coming out so that they can land on the rock. <laughs> um, and you might not be able to see it, but I'm, I'm just working on outlining still making sure everything looks the way it's supposed to now I'm gonna use some green sparkly uh, handmade watercolor it's a Yuli pigment that I made into watercolor paint and it's literally just this gorgeous sparkling sizzling green look at it sizzle 
Um, I have to bring you closer and slow it down so you can see it sizzling the way I do. I just love it. Um, so yeah, I know it's strange. This green on top of teal. What are you doing, Rachel? I promise you it's worth it. You'll love this in the end. Um, make sure if you're putting watercolor on top of acrylic paint that you don't use too much water um, because it will start lifting or wrinkling your acrylic underneath. You don't want that to happen. So just go easy um, with the amount of water that you're using. We're not really using the watercolor technique. We're just using the watercolor glitter to uh, put a whole different effect onto the wings so it doesn't look jelly. I don't want the wings to be jelly. They need to be very sturdy to be able to carry this jelly body around the world. So, especially for Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, so I did get some of my glitter on the outside around the black and the gold. So I had to outline that again and clean it all up, but it is ready for a resin bath. And I'm super excited to do that. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, of course, the resin reveal will be at the end of the video. I am going to show you a couple of bits and pieces uh, that I have at my desk. And I just put my signature on there and I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to resin it. This is a color shifting paw print. Um, I did like a sponged on background with a watercolor and did some gold uh, around the outside. And of course this paw print shifts from like a maroon to a bright copperish orange. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, here's a nice stripey stone that I showed you in my last tutorial, I believe, um, but I've decided to put a dotted rose onto it. So, and this one has a Zentangle paw print and a nice stripey watercolor background. You guys did see me stripe something in my last tutorial as well. Um, now I am going to show you some beautiful watercolors that I've made. Um, these all went into my shop and uh, there might still be some if you check quickly, um, but they go fast. Now for my favorite part. I had to slow this down, you guys, of course, because I really wanted you guys to see the effect of these wings. They're absolutely gorgeous. The shine of the resin just brought out all of the uh, beautiful watercolor glitter. Um, and it looks fantastic on those teal wings, I must say. And uh, wow, it's, it's gorgeous. Look at the color of the rock. I told you it was going to get dark, but how fabulous is that? I am so blessed to live uh, close to Lake Superior. Um, this was fun to make. I hope you guys can make one for yourself or make one to hide or give to someone as a gift. I hope I've given you enough time before Valentine's Day. I'm celebrating my son's birthday tomorrow. It's his eighth birthday. Happy birthday, Jax. Um... And uh, I will see you guys very, very soon with a watercolor binder tutorial and also how I make my watercolor. So here's a quick pick. I love you guys. Keep painting. Bye.